Miss Bay Show. I'm going to take you through a sound journey with some of my favorite things. Welcome to my my massage. So here we have honey crisp apples, ground cinnamon, some pure honey, and skippy peanut butter. Honestly, hands down, one of my favorite snacks. Everyone chops their apples a certain way, so don't judge me how I chop mine. We're gonna drizzle some honey on top, cinnamon, and then deep it. So if you ever come to my home, the snack I'm going to give you, honey crisp apples, you're going to take some cinnamon powder, just going to sprinkle that on top, like this, like a little light confetti. And then you're going to take some honey and you're going to drizzle that all on top. It's one of the best snacks you can have. It's super healthy and also appetizing. satisfying. You don't want to douse it in honey, you just want to drizzle it like just enough, but just kind of over the apple. Now for some people I advise you just eat this by itself with the, with the cinnamon and honey. Actually, one of my favorite all-time WNBA players, and I actually got to play in her camp when I was a kid. 
so many different athletes in so many different realms, but for the most part, I really look up to basketball players. This is definitely a juxtaposition as an athlete, probably drinking alcohol, but for me, I feel like beer, it's very subtle. It comes down easy, and then after a long day, it just feels very relaxing. I love the carbonation, the bubbles, and makes me just feel a little bit grounded in a sense. So it was actually my dream to go to the WNBA as a kid, but I never got to fulfill that dream. I ended up taking a creative route and I had the pleasure of designing this basketball.
my best self-love advice is, I think literally just that, loving yourself. You can't expect other people to love you if you don't love yourself. And you have to do those daily check-ins, you know, just making sure that you're mentally, spiritually, emotionally grounded. There could be a lot of outside noise going on with people or trying to tear you down or or wanting to question your worth or undervalue. But at the end of the day, no one's going to be able to love you if you're not showing up for yourself. And once you have that self-love, there's going to be a myriad of blessings and doors that open so that the right people can come into your life and love you and treat you accordingly and respect you the way you deserve. My name is Paige Marie Velez, and thank you so much for tuning into my mind massage and make sure that you check out Like a Girl on Fuse and Fuse Plus.